Hello everybody, this is Benny Chow. Welcome back to my tutorial series on WooCommerce discounts. And today we're going to learn how to create a BOGO discount, which is buy one, get one free offer in WooCommerce. Okay. Well, we're going to use the popular WooCommerce discount plugin called Discount Rules Pro for WooCommerce to create such discounts. Before we get into the video, please make sure you've downloaded, installed and activated the Discount Rules Pro plugin on your site. If you haven't done this yet, then please do not worry because we have a video that can help you to install the Discount Rules plugin which we have posted already. You can find the link to download the plugin as well as the tutorial video in the description below. Feel free to check the description below for further details. With that being said, let's get started. To create BOGO discount, we'll have to first go to the WordPress dashboard and then under WooCommerce, you'll be able to find something called Wood Discount Rules and if you click on it, you'll be taken to this page. Okay, let's create this BOGO rule by clicking on this add new rule button, which will enable us to configure a rule by entering a suitable title first. Okay, so we're going to offer a BOGO discount, meaning buy one product and get another quantity of the same product for free. Okay, so I'm going to enter the rule title here, BOGO, it says buy one, get one for free. Same product, isn't it? So I'm going to say same. Okay. Now it's time for us to select the discount type after we have entered the suitable title. And if we click on this drop down, the discount type that you're going to select for this scenario is going to be buy X, get X. Okay. Meaning same product. And then let's decide which products are eligible for this particular BOGO discount. I'm going to leave it for all products today, meaning all products on my store are eligible for this BOGO discount. So any product customers buy, they will receive another quantity of the same product for free. That is it. I have defined the products that are eligible for this particular rule. Now it's time for us to set the minimum, maximum quantity and the free quantity and the discount type. So the minimum quantity is the least quantity customers can buy. So I'm going to set it to one. Okay, and maximum quantity is preferred to keep it empty, meaning customers can buy one or more products according to their wish and they will receive only one quantity for free okay meaning if I buy a product called cap I'm gonna get another quantity of the same product another cap for free okay that is what this definition is and the discount type that I'm going to select here is free you can also choose to give percentage discount or fixed discount according to your scenario okay let's select free here and you might see a column such as recursive so let me explain the use of this recursive option okay so if I enable recursive option it means that the discount applies for every sequential range for example if I buy one product I'll get another quantity of the same product for free and if I enable the recursive option it means that when I buy three quantities of a product then I'll get three another quantities for free similarly six quantities and I'm going to get six and other quantities for free okay that's how it works okay let me show you the difference while enabling the recursive option and while having it turned off okay so let's first go with enabling the recursive option now okay after we have defined all of them let's go ahead and save and close this particular rule and see how this works by testing it okay you can see the BOGO rule is now active I'm going to take you to the storefront to test this particular rule. Okay. Now you can see we're on the shop page and all of the products qualify for the BOGO rule because we have mentioned all products that are eligible, isn't it? Now let's add few products to the card and then see how the rule works. I'm going to just add one product to my card. Okay. Let me select this belt. Now I'm going to take you to the card page. Okay. You can see that since I purchased only one belt, another quantity of the same product is added for free. Okay. Now I'm going to explain the use of the recursive option which we enable while configuring the rule. Okay. So because of the recursive option, let me take you here. Because of the recursive option, if I buy three quantities, then I'm going to get three extra for free. Okay. So let me increase the card quantities to three update the card and you'll be able to see that the free product quantity also changes to three okay meaning i buy three and then get three another for free this is the use of the recursive option 
Now, in case I turn this recursive option off and save and close this particular option, you will be able to see that no matter how many quantities I buy, the free product quantity is going to be just one. Okay, let me just refresh the cart and show you that if I turn off the recursive option, no matter how many quantities of products I buy, I will only receive one quantity, one extra quantity for free. So this is how BOGO rules work and I hope this is really helpful. Thank you so much for watching.